Well, it looks like the Natty King and friends are back at it again. Yeah, the whole gang is here. But I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. And the end is near, so let's drink beer. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the End is Near, so let's drink beer podcast sponsored by Premium Cabinets. Uh, shout out to John Morgan and family over there. If you're looking to get any cabinet work done or kitchen remodeling, holler at them at 314-499-8800. Oh, hey, welcome to the Regis and Kelly. Oh, thank you. Welcome to the Regis and Kelly show. I'm certainly Regis. <laughs> or wait, no, I would say be a good Regis. she'd be more manly than he is, right? Well, a lot he- of people, what? Regis, oh, yeah. he's not he's a very manly alive. guy. He's, he's not alive. a guy that's he's not a hand to hand combat guy. No, I think he died years ago. Oh fuck! I think rest in peace, Regis Philbin. Yeah. Welcome to you. so okay then. Welcome to the End is Near Celeste Drink Beer podcast from our new we're studio. in a we're in a it, we're our, for anybody that's listening and not watching and wonder what the fuck I'm talking about. We're sitting in a totally different studio right now where it's almost like the Letterman show, kind of. Right, Joey was right. telling me earlier, this is all a result of us. I like it. Yeah, this is our room. That's what yep. he said. This is ours, only ours. Nice. No, but um, yeah. Today we have Miranda Smith. Hey. Hi. Hello. Um. Thanks for having me. I'm excited about this, dude. Yeah. When you when you <laughs> so, I had to stalk you down on Wednesday because my guy here. And full disclosure, when you sent that text going, I did reach back. I immediately took your side because I'm like, this is. <laughs> I That's how her. he fucking rolls. I, I miss, well, I, I messaged her first, and then she didn't read it, but she's like me. You kind of probably delete Messenger or turn off notifications all the time. My notifications are do. never on or else I go yeah, crazy. I do that all the time. So. You need to show me how to do that. It's very simple. It's that. very simple. We're going to teach you. Okay. We're going to out. teach you. But um, so to give you a little background on what's going on here, I, people of the listening world, y'all, I had um, made a post. What was it? I made a post about somebody coming on. We were looking for guests, and mm-hmm. you commented that you have tons of footage of UFOs. You've basically made a a whole YouTube channel out of it, a um, fucking life out of it, yeah, right? Like, yeah. yeah, it's taken over my life. I love yes. that. And I want, I want, yeah, definitely. <laughs> want, so we're gonna dive deep into the unexplained, your encounters. Yeah. Yes, close of encounters the, of the third, of the third kind, the third yeah. kind. So we're gonna do that. Um, so I guess we'll just kind of dive right into that. What do you tell? How did that even start? Like how? Because yeah. I've known you a little background. I've known a Miranda. I've known Miranda a long time. Um, you and my brother were close way back, and mm-hmm. she went into UFOs. weren't doing the UFOs she? back then. No, thing. yeah, no, yeah. So this this started during COVID. Really, like I've always been open minded to UFOs, and I've always really felt drawn to space, and always kind of like you know, wondered what, what was out there, but it wasn't a big part of my life. Like I never really like thought about UFOs. I wasn't a a UFO nerd or any of like anything like that. Um, I was actually doing nutrition and teaching nutrition classes. Yeah. 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 So I was doing that. Like that was my life. Um, and whenever COVID hit in the middle of lockdown, I started doing space photography and I'll show you guys some of the pictures uh, here in a minute that I've taken, but, um, yeah, in the middle of lockdown, I just went out to the stars, started hanging out under the stars, stargazing every single night yeah. with my camera, learning how to take pictures. Like, so uh, you, you didn't see so just like a new camera. Like it's not something that you, you weren't like into photography big, right? No. Yeah. No, I wasn't. I wasn't too big. Yeah. You're just like, I got a good camera and yep. I'm looking at the stars and I want to take some pictures of shit. Yeah. Yep. I found out that you could, I saw a friend post pictures taken of the Milky Way and I was like, I didn't know that you could do that. And Aren't we in the Milky Way? No. Uh, like in it? Yes, we're in it, but you can see like the arm of the Milky Way. Oh, like we're in one arm, you can see the other arm Yeah. So in the sky. What? The yeah. last time I went camping, I saw three stars lined up, and I thought I saw some shit. That's Orion's like, belt. Yeah, that's Orion's belt. And I'm like, <laughs> this whole fucking time, all I had to do was look up. Did you it ever watch Men you. in Black? I what did not. Fuck? No, I wouldn't. Pay, I was that. taxing. I wouldn't pay attention. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was out there um, learning astrophotography, space photography, and um, after doing that, I fell in love with it. I uh, quit my job teaching because of some some BS that happened. Yeah. Um, and 
while I was out there one night, well, actually the, the first night it happened on my uh, front porch, I went out to get fresh air and I had my first UFO experience. And, um, it was, I saw two of them actually. Um, I went outside on my front porch and I looked up to the stars and then I saw this kind of like hovering light over the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I started trying to record it. And then a second craft had appeared and it was like a diamond shaped craft it was much closer like what? this was a close this was yeah like wow okay. where do you live like are you out like in the country no i'm being serious like are you out in the country or in the suburbs okay. in st All peter's right. new mexico <laughs> yeah but yeah roswell no, no <laughs> in commute. st peter's yeah in st peter's and this is like, it was like late at night it was like one or two o'clock in the morning so i was the only one around hmm. but this craft just appeared and it went up and down then side to side really really fast and then started coming straight towards me and <laughs> nothing intimidating are you allowed to talk yeah, about exactly. this exactly yeah no shit right <laughs> the government probably already knows who got i am suit, got the suits coming how, in right how now how big was this thing you think um it, i'd say maybe like five or six cars so size. it's fucking huge it was pretty big yeah and how far away do you think it was it was probably like four or five houses down and i was like Holy looking up at, shit. So it was close it was right on top so of you you're yeah, looking at this it's not just like i wonder what that could be way off in the distance and no, yeah, it's like at this point like, you know this isn't it's like, like what the fuck is that? right not that's literally what i said like i was recording at the time and i said of it? the video the video doesn't it was so dark and i took it with my cell phone you can see a light but you can't like see any details. you can't make out yeah. yeah, that it was. But a you can triangle. see the light kind of like move up and down, side to side. That's what made me realize, like afterwards, because I was like, "Did I just fucking see yeah. that? Did right. that really just happen?" Because your brain's trying to register what is happening, and Were then there I drugs in your system. No, okay. I was sober. So I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So sober. you're okay. So if I'm, I'm just recapping, mm -hmm. big fucking thing that's like yeah. the size of a house almost. It might have been, yeah. A little it, smaller. I think it was more of like kind of like a smaller one. It wasn't like a big, huge thing. Um, and it's clear as day, five houses down? Yeah. And just hovering? Yeah. What do you do after that? <laughs> well, I do? started trembling. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, was, I started shaking, and you can hear on the recording. Um, I didn't realize that I, I was still recording, and then afterwards I found it, and thank God I did because I was like, this really happened. And you can hear me. I take, like, I, I say, what the fuck? And I take a few steps back. And, um, yeah, it just shifted my whole paradigm. So this craft started coming straight towards me, and then it went, uh, like, above me and just vanished. And... Um, yeah. Whoa. So I intuitively thought this craft either went straight up at super fast speed or it popped into another dimension and I just can't see it. Well, they say that like, and I'm sure you've done a lot of research on this, the whole time travel thing is basically you're, yeah. you're essentially bending yeah. space and time for the most part. So it's yeah. not like I'm going from point A to point B, but it's like I'm at point A and point B essentially comes to me and then I end up there. So... Um, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's Stephen how they Hawking do it. Over here. Gosh, Stephen that, Honky. You got Stephen that right. Honky. Yes. That's how they do it, though. That's how they do it. That's right. how it's so fast. They, every point is connected, so you can literally be somewhere else way across even the galaxy in an instant. So what do you, what do, you do after that? Yeah. So they disappear now what? Like, you um, go to bed? I'm I mean, starving. Go yeah. You go inside. Oh, shit, I got laundry. Yeah, like, what do you do? <laughs> well, I was freaked out. I actually, I started driving around. I was freaked out because it was right outside my house and they made it very clear that like they, they saw me and they came towards me. Who the so, fucking people in the script? Oh, the people or whatever? <laughs> yeah, whatever she the looks, scrap she was. She looks up so, and sees a little window. Because they came hand. towards you? Yeah, because they came towards me. I was the only one around and they made it very i feel like they made it very clear that they knew that we i was watching you. yeah right. exactly that's what it felt like like we see you and yes was we are in, real was it intimidating or was it like a was it were they trying to intimidate or was it like a just a acknowledgement i think it was um they just had to do something so extreme to where i would like notice it you know how i don't know have you guys ever had anything happen where you like thought you saw something but you weren't sure yeah yeah but oh, usually yeah. there's something in my system yeah <laughs> Still your, your thing. well that thins the veil so right. you'll see a lot of stuff on that <laughs> um i think that they they made it very obvious that 
so they had to do something extreme was the feeling. I, I don't feel like, I was more curious. I mean, it kind of freaked me out, but then I was more curious. But so a couple months went by. Nobody believed me. A couple months went by. Who and, did you tell? Um, I told like my mom, my siblings, um, my astrophotographer friend at the time and a few other people. And they just kind of like, they're like, you're probably just. And, and, it, and it wasn't because that's the feedback that I would probably get from my side as well. But like at this point, you're not actively looking for anything. Right. So it's not like she's kind of making it up to yeah. justify what There's, she's doing. Yeah, you're just out of nowhere. You got nothing to gain from lying Right, about yeah. Right. I can tell by talking to you that you're genuine with it. Like that doesn't have, like, you can tell she's not like. <laughs> yeah. Roughing up a Fingers story. aren't crossed. No. She's, Legs are crossed. So yeah. I don't know if that ah, counts, true. But, technicality jesus christ so after that you're just hooked you're like this is my i gotta no find no more no well well i did i started researching uh, i was like uh yeah i started researching because i wanted to know what the heck i saw but then a couple i think it was a month or two went by a couple months went by where nothing happened and then i uh went how to often an, were you looking at it sorry to interrupt how often are you using. looking at that point are you like living outside looking up at the sky at this point or? i was looking up basically every night yeah, yeah. okay yeah. Yeah. So I spent a lot of time out there and I'd never seen anything like right. that. Like that was the first time. Um, and I went to an astronomy park, uh, Bromelsick. Have you heard of Bromelsick? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Off yeah. Highway D, I think, or 40. Yeah. Near Weldon, in mm, Weldon yeah. Springs. Yeah. Shout out to Bromelstick. Yeah. Bromelstick. Yeah. Bromelstick. Yeah. Bromelstick. Yeah. It's an astronomy park. It's open 24 hours. And I went up there um, late by myself. Park? Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't... Well, they've got other oh, stuff going on over there too. But then there's an astronomy park section. Um, and I went up there to shoot photography by myself. I was in, that's whenever I had my second encounter. It's the nighttime, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> and this yeah. is how far? Like two months, three yeah. months, you said? Yeah, two months okay. later. My first one happened in November, 2020. And then the, the, the next ones happened, uh, January, 2021. And it, I mean, it wasn't just one craft. Like, like I was sitting in my car and then suddenly I had a feeling and then I, I like I look to my right and I see a light that's like kind of going back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then I look to my left, I see another one going back and forth. And then I look behind me and I see two more behind me in the trees. And then I look in front of me and then there's more lights. So you're in front surrounded. Of me. Literally. Are you is what you're saying. Petrified at this point. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, holy shit, I think I'm surrounded by UFOs. What? <laughs> Yeah. So what do you so what do you do in that scenario? You get the camera out or exactly? Okay. Yeah. So I got the camera out, and that's some of the footage I'm going to show you guys um, today. Ooh, wow. Yeah, some of that. And I didn't. My car was turned off. I was surrounded by cornfields. It was the middle of the night. I was literally the only one around. So I figured you're a ballsy one. That's you know that? Bat yeah. Shit, you're dude. you're a fucking yeah. yeah you're that's a gangster. That's what I'm thinking. That is bat that, shit. That in itself right there is intimidating. Especially after these fuckers a couple months ago like let you know we're here. Bro. Yeah. No we're shit. Here. Yeah. And then you're like, all right. I'm going to go hang out in a cornfield. Let me go to a cornfield yes. way away from everybody. Yeah. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> That's... Okay, so that happens. You record that. Yeah, so I start recording them. I'm, I didn't know if they knew that I was there, um, which now I know that they did know that I was there. But at the time, I didn't know if they knew I was there because, you know, it's quiet. My car's turned off. So I'm like, I'm feeling like I'm sneaky and I'm like, maybe I'm catching them doing something that, right, yeah. you know, so I just start recording them. Fucking Joe Biden comes couple out. A couple of fucking teenage aliens <laughs> straying off. <laughs> Parents are supposed to be at home. I told you not to go to Earth. Yeah. <laughs> so how, what, go on. Sorry. We're, that's what we do. Yeah. No, you're fine. It's, you're fine. We need medication. Mm -hmm. You're good. Um, yeah. So I just kept recording them for, I was kind of trying to wait them out, um, but they didn't end up leaving. So I literally recorded them set up there because I felt uncomfortable to leave because if I started my car and I'm the, literally the only person around, right. they're going to, it's going to draw attention to me. Up or to they're like room. squirrels and they just take off. You yeah. scare them off. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was in stealth mode and I just sat there recording them and then the sun started coming up and then I, cars started coming down. Um, I saw a couple cars, so I was like, okay, this is my ticket to leave. They were still there whenever right. I left as the sun was coming up. Could you see, the, when the sun came up, could you see the crafts or whatever better? Could you see their spaceships or whatever the fuck better? So most of them were far, kind of like farther away. They just looked like lights. Um, yeah, lights, different colored lights. Uh, but there were some kind of like orbs that had gathered in the field at the park with me that weren't mm. that far and 
these were like these weren't like crafts. These were like smaller orbs. Right. And I got I got kind of a good look at them, and those were weird <laughs> because it's like these. Are they glowing? Like, yeah, yeah. They just looked like they behave differently. It doesn't look like like a normal light like ours. It's really hard to explain. Yeah, it's almost translucent a little bit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It can be translucent, and then it's kind of like moving within itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, flubber. Yeah, it's very very different. Okay, so you're two months in. You've mm-hmm. seen two different. So by this point, you're already in. This is what I'm doing now, right? Well. That piqued my curiosity for sure. Right. And, and now I had was getting footage of it. So I went up there the next night to see if they would come up again. And I did see, I t- saw two light, two of them on the horizon. They were kind of far um, going back and forth. So I was like, okay, this, this is a thing. Um, I brought, this is going to sound so crazy. The third night I brought a friend with me to witness it because I'm like, somebody else needs to see I that shit. I a hundred percent would do that. I yeah. need somebody to verify. You're I'm the first nuts. person I'm right. out here. And yeah. I'm, I'm, Hey, I'm already out here. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you're here too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And unfortunately they, they didn't show themselves that night at the park, but you know, I did, I got a strange feeling in, in my friend that was with me. He was like, uh, I definitely feel like we're being watched though. And, um, <laughs> right. and then whenever I went back home after that, I saw there was a light, there was one of them, just like a small light outside of my house that was, that kind of was there to like greet me. Whoa. So yeah. Do you get a, do you get an uncomfortable, like they're, they're here to hurt you or they're here to intimidate or do you get a, we are showing ourselves to you because I'd be we flattered. have some sort of connection some yeah. sort of we trust you type bond. Yeah, no, yeah. At first it was a little, it was definitely like, uh, and even this whole time I'm like cautious but curious. Yeah. But um, no, it definitely began to feel like, especially by whenever I saw them, like saw that light outside of my house, like it was greeting me. It felt like kind of like a mutual understanding and connection. Yeah. Like they were just showing themselves to me. and And then they started popping up everywhere and they would literally pop up in front of my camera like they were doing it on purpose so then i realized okay they want me to record them and share this footage to help show people that they exist so that's they're what they're cocky it, so that's yeah. <laughs> they're flexing they're we're bold here. yeah they're bold so do you have can you show us the pictures of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the night when you were there and like yeah are the okay so i'll i want to show you guys um first this is a photograph so that you guys know i'm not just like anybody you know look you know seeing something in the sky that might not actually be a ufo like this is a photograph that i took anybody that's listening right now that wants to actually watch this it'll be you can see these images and see the video of this whole thing uh at beer fam podcast on uh, youtube and, and subscribe before you guys all start thinking aliens are cute and they love us go watch mars attacks that's could proof be, they don't there could be a flip side to this coin yeah. so one but, of my favorite movies so underrated so yeah. i'll try to describe what we're seeing here for those people well they're, they're gonna have they're Apple, gonna have it pulling up on the screen too in, in post a lot of people are gonna be listening and not being oh. able to watch it so okay, if, they, gotcha. if they i'm gonna try to describe it okay. but then also anybody that wants to go watch it go to youtube and type in at beer fam podcast I would totally, if this happened to me, I would totally have it play on my vanity. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm special. They want right. me. They're That's just my, feeling me out right uh, now. Something. Eventually, really, I end up on a ship. I'm interested. Yes. Uh, That's, That's a hundred percent. That's the next. I'm step. walking outside, just going, "Come on, already, guys. It's yeah. me. Get me up there." The goal is to be on Joe Rogan. Yeah. That's my goal. Yeah. <laughs> he, he would love this conversation. <laughs> He's gonna be here shortly. He's actually on his. <laughs> He's bringing Excited. donuts. <laughs> you okay, you so um, so this so this is a, a just to give you guys some context. This is a photograph that I took of the Andromeda Galaxy. So I took this with my camera. I knew it. And you can actually see two other galaxies in there. You see those little smudge what kind lights. Of camera. Um, a Nikon D fifty three hundred DSLR camera. Is that like Jesus. super zoom. Yeah. It so I I did use um, it's kind of like putting a little telescope on the end of your camera. A yeah. lens about that big. That's beautiful. You have to buy it at NASA.com. It's thirty-seven thousand. <laughs> NASA.com. Yeah. Well, I'm just it's saying. Look shop. at that. Yeah. Shout out what, to NASA. What Crazy, right? What the fuck right? is that big ass? Th- so that is a galaxy. Yeah, that's our How closest wide do neighbor. You think that is. I don't know. It, this is our closest neighbor uh, to us. I think and it's that's two. Their son, um, basically. 
I, th I think there's black holes in the center of these galaxies. I'm not 100% sure that, that make Feel them light small up. small yet? <laughs> so there's one. Um, this is... Oh, this is um this is a, a nebula in Whoa. Orion's under Orion's belt. How so the that, fuck? Did you, that's your camera took yep. that picture. Yeah. Like that's no edited image from you know some shit you see on Google or some dipshit. That's mm -hmm. real. Like that's a real. Yep. That's. Yep. That is beautiful. <laughs> that's a beautiful. You shot. can't even like yeah you like, can't. That's what you should get tattooed. You want to get a tattoo right? Yeah, get I'll get, get, Orion's get the Orion belt. belt. Yeah, <laughs> Andromeda's thing. Yeah. So you take a bunch of photographs and stack them together, and you you know have to put them all together. So that's there. It's a big process to be able to get like this purple image. Purple and white. right. Purples and whites and yeah, it's beautiful. And this is the Pleiades uh, star cluster. This is actually where some of these beings are from. So you're saying, so what are we looking at right now? Clearly yeah. a shit ton of stars, but what are the things that are the most lit, the most prominent? Closer? So oh. that's that's like nebula gas. Okay, so at no point have we seen any UFOs or anything like Correct. that. Correct. This, okay. this is just my photography. I just wanted to give you guys a little that's, bit of context. Because if I saw that, I'd be like, fuck this. <laughs> Actually, no, I would love it. I, again, would, I think I'd be. Love it. What it what, so you say that's where they. That's where some from? of these are from. Yeah. So there's you you truly believe there's intelligent life or whatever in that cluster of yep that's crazy 100%. and so we're clear you believed in UFOs prior to your experience or you were just kind of like indifferent well, like yeah it makes sense believing in yeah. UFOs is just like unidentified flying objects that's a UFO well we're we, you know what we're calling a UFO aliens. we're calling well, aliens I didn't UFOs. know a hundred percent but I had a feeling. Right. Okay. Yeah. So this confirmed it for me. Right. For sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. And at this time also, whenever I knew it was getting serious, after I started these UFOs started popping up all the time and jumping in front of my camera, the there was a hidden piece in the COVID bill, COVID relief bill that said uh basically all levels of the government need to give us all of their uh all of their investigations and any information on UFOs, period. And it was just like sneakily put into the COVID bill. And what I was a, like, what? what a here? weird, what oh yeah, here? by the way, we want this too, yeah. So then that's when I realized, oh shit, this is actually happening. Right. Like this is real, the, like the, the government, they made fun of it before, but now, you know, they're... Well, I don't think they made fun of it as in they thought it was a laughing matter. I think they made fun of it to kind of get everybody to turn the other way. Exactly. Because, again... It's a psyop. Because my thing's always been like this. What has been the benefit of us? Because I was in the Air Force for 12 years. I had a top secret security clearance before you think it's I'm terrifying. fucking cool. That's terrifying. To There's about 37 levels of top secret. I was like... at, at the Are you for I was real in the basement, right? right? But I did talk to people that saw shit. Bottom secret. Uh huh. And I would ask, you know, I would ask people that have been to these places. So, you know, have you seen shit that without question makes you go 100% there's aliens out there? And they're going, yeah, no, there's nothing out there. I've never seen anything, you know. So they kind of give you the wink, wink. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and it's always like, well, why has this always been hidden? Yeah. And it's, in my opinion, it's always come down to what do you say? And again, there's nothing wrong with super religious people. I'm not. But what do you tell a religion that there's never been any mention of any sort of other life forms out there? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, oh, yeah, by the way, you guys are not alone. How do you combat that? Like, the whole world well, there must be another book hidden somewhere yeah. that talks about the aliens, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So I think it's to kind of calm the panic. But I think everybody's so cynical now. You are seeing a lot more shit just kind of slowly trickle yeah. out, you know? Yeah, exactly. From the government. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And um, there there are some things. If you look in like the Book of Enoch, I know that talks about it. There are some things in the Bible that actually do talk about extraterrestrials. Oh, really? Well, mm -hmm. clearly. It's, it, you just, it's, it, it's not list. worded. It's not yeah. worded like that exactly. But if you kind of read but. but between the lines a little bit, you know, they talk about spaceships right, and just stuff. Just edit out what I just said. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and No, 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 <laughs> but that, back, uh, that brings seconds. up a great point, though, because a lot of, whenever I started sharing this footage, a lot of the backlash I got was from very religious people. Oh, I bet, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's a good Clearly point. Clearly, they didn't read the Book of Enoch either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so um, this was from my second encounter. Um, 
at the astronomy park where I'm, you know, like stealth in my car. These were the lights that were in front of me. Now it was so dark. I couldn't quite make out what it was. Is that tree? <clears throat> What's that? Is that tree to the right of it? Or like a, a there, tree. There are is that tre- tree. <laughs> there are trees. <laughs> yeah, tree? it's it's behind yeah. a thin is that tree. <laughs> like a fucking. Hey, Why tree. was that so funny? Is that tree? <laughs> is it tree? <laughs> Looky. There, there's there were some lights that weren't there before. It was yeah, completely yeah, dark. Yeah. So these lights are this craft. But I saw a a light flash. And whenever I reviewed the footage, you can actually see a beam of light being emitted from this craft. So I'll go ahead and play it. So just you're sitting there, looking out in the dark, and uh-huh. all of a sudden that pops up. Yep. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Did you see that beam? Yeah. Do that again. Is that beam? Is that is that beam? <laughs> it is a tree, though. Beam I see tree? what you're talking about. See what I'm right. saying? So you're thinking that's one craft or that's four crafts? Um, I think it's either one or two. One, yeah, I'm thinking one or two. I think this is one, and then that may be another one, or it's like one big one. Right. Yeah, this Ooh. one was kind of hard to see, but this one was some of the closest ones to me. So, um, yeah, you can perfectly see that, like a literal... It's just a whole... Yeah, it's like a fucking lighthouse. And you did probably what I would do in that scenario. I would sit there and wait it out. Like, I'm just going to sit here and watch this shit until it goes away. Yeah, you don't want to get see. caught there if you're not supposed to be there. I don't I don't know if I would get too worried about that because you don't hear about, like, alien abductions. You hear about a lot of missing people. That much. You do hear a lot about missing people. Some of this was sketchy. I unhappily married... People that are just, it's easier if I fake my own death. Guy's fucking missing. I don't know where he went. But yeah. bitching about his wife the whole night before. What are we but no, there, clearly, Lake? clearly yeah. they probably know you're there, right? You think they've got the technology to travel around the galaxy. Well, they I'm assuming a, they got the technology to go, hey, there's a chick over there in the car it, watching it, us right now. If you're going to come to a place with seven plus billion people mm-hmm. you gotta imagine there's gonna be a couple around right you came here right you came here it's not like we're sneaking around their backyard 100 percent. yeah yeah no well, yeah I, uh i found i realized later they definitely knew that i was there they were doing it on purpose so what so what my point is though you probably feel maybe not like a sense of calmness because it is an adrenaline dump i'm sure but you feel safe you don't feel like you're in danger yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I felt I was cautious, but the curiosity just overcame me. Right. And I, right. and yeah, I didn't feel not safe. I was really pushing, <laughs> pushing the boundaries. Come um, on. but no, You're the, honking, Adam. the, I believe that the beings, yeah, <laughs> the beings, I mean, there were nights where I was like running around with my camera, just like, like, show yourselves. I know you're up there. <laughs> and they revealed themselves to me. Um, we kind of developed a relationship as crazy as that sounds. So um, this is a picture. This is further along as it's developing. And I would kind of get like started getting a sense for when they would appear in like kind of like a sixth sense. And what are you feeling just like now's time or it's been long enough or like what sensation are you getting? It's just kind of like an intuitive hit, like a feeling, a strong right. feeling, a strong thought. Um yeah, and it gets stronger too, like kind of as you go, like your your extrasensory perception. Um, but actually, having UFO encounters, people develop psychic abilities from having UFO encounters. You can like do some research on that if you'd like. But that's just another aspect of it. It kind of opens up these other uh, abilities. But okay, so here's a picture of me where I set up my camera to take a time lapse, and I kind of like asked them to appear for a picture. And um, you can see to the right, I did get two craft. Yeah, that that's showed not up. a plane. That's not a drone. <laughs> that's not. Yeah. <laughs> there it is, close up. Wow. What the fuck is that? And it almost looks like kind of like a portal or like a tear in space yeah. time right there, and then two black triangles. What the fuck is that? That is, and that's during the day too. You don't see a lot of daytime <laughs> footage. It's usually at night with yeah. the lights and all that. So. That's why I liked doing kind of like initiating contact with them uh, during the day because the the footage at night just kind of sucks. So um, Jesus. yeah, that's so what we're looking at is basically two almost looking like black circles, but then a a tear like almost like a a, yeah. li- a horizontal line coming from. It's a just married thing. Remember how they used to 
tie cans and shit. So you guys are probably too young to remember that. And but when drag people would get the married, the yeah, they would tie cans <laughs> and to the back of their yeah. car and drive around. Anyway. That's probably what that actually is. Uh, did you think about that? Da, 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 <laughs> probably, yeah. Yeah. So there's um. That's fucking cool. So that's uh, one of them. And, and did you see them, or did you see them later after you? I so I went back. They were only there for like a split second. So I was taking a time lapse so where I'm taking pictures every oh. second. And out of all of the pictures that I took, they were only in this one frame. So they literally only blink. So it was like very like, quick. Well, obviously, a wasn't time bend kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah. obviously, it wasn't something coming across. It was like a Correct. quick and gone. Yeah, exactly. And if it were like a plane or a bird or something, you would see it in, in multiple frames things. going across. You know, the screen. Right. This was only just for a split second. And this is in broad daylight yeah. at Lakeside Park, and there's other people around. I was is like, that three seventy. Yeah. Yeah. And now, did anybody else sit? Well, you didn't even see it really when it happened, right? You had Correct. to go back and look at the footage. Yeah, yeah, I went back immediately, but I could like I could feel mm -hmm. their presence. But uh, yeah, I went back immediately. So this is a um, another picture where I was initiating contact with them, asked them to appear. You can see me kind of like meditating there, and uh, <laughs> said a funny thought. Sorry, you're fine. Right. Share it. I was, I was just thinking, like, what would it be the best trolling ever if like. The next picture was like one of those aliens from Mars attacks. Real close up. <laughs> and then here's what I met right, one of right. them. Like that would have fucking So I hear some noise in my kitchen I don't know why. And... God, my brain needs to chill. <laughs> You're All good. Right. Sorry. You're Oops. good. So um, I got one one craft appeared and it appeared in three different photos. Um, but you can see it right up here. It almost looks Whoa. like the same thing. Maybe, right? Uh, I'm trying to learn how to like do this Mac thing. It's okay. I've got a closer up picture. Here's a closer up. What picture the of it. Fuck is yep. that? That's it. That it's, looks like abstract art. It's plankton. Yeah. It's plankton. <laughs> From fucking SpongeBob. It's like a Salvador Dali painting. Oh wow, that's that is intense. What in the fuck would that be? Exactly. So at this point, you're not chasing them per se. You're just kind of to the point to where you're like, I'm gonna show up, I'm gonna do my thing, and then they're gonna pop in and they're they're gonna pop in and they're gonna pop out at their like own time or whatnot. Yeah. It's like an angry bird. That's kind of like, that's how it started. Um, but then I began kind of like initiating contact with them more. So I would go to this park and just kind of like, you know, hope that they would show up and get my camera ready. And sometimes they would. And sometimes they would give me a cool picture. Right. Did it ever go beyond quick pictures? Like, did you ever like, I don't know, anything else? Anything deeper? Yeah. Really? I mean, how deep do you want to go? Very. <laughs> the deepest. We want to go to the bottom. Yeah, I mean, that's... So, yeah. So, after, like, this this was happening a lot. Um, like, how often are you seeing these things? I started doing this every single day. And you'd see them almost every single day? I'd probably become obsessed with I don't know. I would well. be Woody Harrelson. I, I would, yeah. Oh, you never saw 2012. I'm talking about him again. Hey. But you would be Woody... Well, I, I would be Woody Harrelson sucked. in an RV fucking... Mm -hmm. Talking on ham radio all night. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to do that before this. Look at that picture. Yeah, that is gorgeous. So are you talking to any... At this point, are you reaching out to any other people going, hey, I've had... I've read your shit online or I saw your video. I've kind of had some experiences. And like, mm -hmm. I don't know what you would get together and talk about. Yeah. Other than you're just, you know, just reiterating what you already know. Here's somebody else that saw it. But... Like, I'm assuming you're getting in the community at this point. Right? Yeah, I started to. Like, I, I yeah, I had no idea, like, where to go. But I, I really was trying to look for help to, to figure out what was happening to me because so, my life was normal one minute, and then suddenly now I'm seeing all these UFOs everywhere. And I contacted this um, organization called MUFON, and, and they do some investigations, and I talked to them a little bit. Um, and then whenever I started, I actually started sharing my footage on TikTok, and through that, um, through the account Lily Nova in space, I went under a different name to kind of like protect my identity. Right. Um, and, uh, thank you, Miranda. <laughs> Miranda Smith, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Then I started uh, meeting other people who were experiencing similar things. Um, there's just a, but okay, let me, I'll show you one more. Were, were all the stories like, or not stories, but all the encounters when you were talking with other people, did it kind of go down the same way? 
Like, were they all very similar as far as that goes? Or? I was finding at the time, like, mine felt much more, like, deeper. Like, even MUFON, whenever I talked to them, the UFO investigators, they were like, your case is very peculiar. And they were actually kind of, like, worried for me. <laughs> they are like, you've had a lot of experiences back to back that that's not normal. Um, so it was a little intense. Right. Yeah. But then as I started getting deeper into it, I, I discovered that um, more and more people are having these experiences. And um, Fuck, why aren't we? I mean, you can. There's, there's actually a, a whole protocol. What I was doing whenever I was initiating contact with these UFOs, it's called CE5. You mentioned uh, close contact, close encounters of the third kind. Right. Close encounters of the fifth kind, which you can look this up. And anybody who is listening to this, like if you, you want. with one. Look, look up CE5. Uh, Dr. Stephen Greer does a lot of really good uh, information on this and has a lot of really good footage and all that. But there's a whole protocol where you can like set your intention to initiate contact and ask them to appear exactly what I was doing. And a lot of people have had success with it. Let's do that Saturday. So you could do it. Honest to God, I, I, we should do this. Come down to Potosi. I'll be at Twin I will. Come there's got to be aliens in Potosi. It's in the woods. It has to be. Yeah. Uh, no so, real people live there. <laughs> Kidding. Love Potosi. So I'll just show you one more and and then put it away. But uh, I also noticed that they could come appear as orbs, which sounds kind of weird, but like orbs of light. So they can appear and manifest in different ways. It doesn't have to be like a physical craft. But I got this really cool looking orb that turns into a geometric shape that's pretty wild. Where's your friends and family at on this at this point? When you're showing them the footage, are they finally going, okay, maybe she's not batshit crazy maybe she's actually she's got footage of this shit yeah like did it get to the point I, to where we believe you now yeah exactly okay, it good. took some time but yeah once i started you know racking up the footage what the fuck? Look whoa that. yeah so, rubik's cube exactly that's literally what it's called that's what i call it okay. rubik's cube orb that's oh, on yeah. the title <laughs> i didn't see that actually. I really did. that's what it looks like it yeah. just looks like a flying floating rubik's a bright rubik's cube isn't that crazy? And now it looks like with this, you didn't have a camera just stationary. You're out there walking around with it. I was like looking it. at this and point, again, right? Every, yeah. Again, everybody, you can go to YouTube and type in at Beer Fam Podcast to see this one. Go to the latest episode. We don't know what we'll title it yet, but you'll know. That's fucking gnarly. That is crazy. Right? Wow. And okay. so when you see these, are you feeling like... A form of validation or are you past all that at this point like I've gotten enough to show that because that would always be my biggest not fear or concern but if I were in your shoes it's going to be like all right I've seen this I've lived this I experienced it mm -hmm. now I've got to share this with other people and there is going to be a layer or a time frame where they're going to go they're going to think I'm losing my fucking mind yeah. but I just have to keep hitting them with the yeah. facts the footage and things like that like yeah. did it ever become like a mission to obviously to have contact and see them and get the footage and all that. Mm -hmm. But kind of like a side piece mission is to prove to everybody, look, side I'm not quest. making this shit up. Yeah. You know, because yeah. that would be side piece mission. Yeah. Yeah. That was it initially. Yeah, definitely. Um, I wanted to, you know, have the receipts <laughs> for my yeah. experiences right, right. and share, you know, evidence of it. Um, and then eventually I became very, I'm very comfortable in my experiences and I don't have to prove, I don't, right. I don't, I don't try to prove to people, but for those who have an open mind and eyes that are ready to see, you know, I'm here to share, so what, you know, what I've learned. You said it went deeper than that. Yeah. So, um, so telepathic, con I've had telepathic communication with them too. So, <laughs> so where okay. do you want to go? Uh, dig in. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So where do you want to go from there? Do they ever <laughs> bring me I up? I know to, yeah, I right. just met you for the first time today. Have they ever mentioned my name? <laughs> <laughs> I'd really like to get off this rock for a few hours. You know, just well, fucking take me that. up. Maybe you already have and yeah. you just don't realize it. Ooh, you don't remember. Look at that fucking curveball right there. Yeah. Okay, so talk to us about that. Like when did this happen? How did it happen? So um, I started, yeah, when, whenever I started posting this footage and I'm seeing them all over the place, I'm like, man, I really feel like they're trying to like tell me something. And then as kind of a, like a connection and communication began to develop um, and, and I was actually, uh, the first time it happened 
was with this this golden orb. I have a picture of it that I took. The first time I initiated contact, this orb appeared. It was like a um, an orb, and it and whenever I closed my eyes, it sent me a telepathic vision of who was controlling the orb. And I saw these uh, these beings. They actually had like light blue skin and no hair, but they looked human. They just avatars. had avatars. Like Avatar. Well, more those exist too. But <laughs> but these were more like literally like if I had no hair and had light blue skin, like, like that's a smurf. Really? Like so a it's just like smurf. a like a bald light skin, blue skin. Yeah. But they looked very, very human, like you know, the face the same. Um arms, that's just legs. one species, yeah. Right. Arms, legs. We actually look very similar to a lot of the species. Um the, a lot of the different ETs. So they, so I, I, that was the first kind of like big step. And then I received a telepathic vision. So then that's how they started communicating with me through these like telepathic Wait, visions. so when that happens, how trippy was that? It was crazy. I couldn't sleep. You see it like fucking clear as day or is it like a thought? Like, I mean, you, it's, it's very vivid. And you, so you, like, are they in like a, where, where was this guy just sitting in something? I mean, so it was a, um, it was a female, uh, Lang. She had a skin tight silver uniform on. I wish I had the pic. I have depictions like of her. I like him. Yeah. yeah, she is a babe. She, yeah. yeah, she was actually very pretty. Yeah, she won one Miss Venus three. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was very pretty. And she was laying down on this table and she had her eyes closed. And then there were five crew members behind her wearing the same uniform. And I was kind of confused why she was laying on a table and had her eyes closed. But then later I realized that. I think she was controlling this orb with her consciousness. Like the the technology, yeah, the technology that they have is consciousness assisted technology. It like interfaces with your thought. Mm -hmm. So that's probably kind of like what like Elon Musk is like it's trying a to do. Kind of thing. It's where we're headed. Yeah, you exactly. Know? It it is. Uh, yeah, and it scares the shit out of me. This it's whole crazy. AI, all this, only thing that keeps me up at night. That and coffee. That and coffee. So. What the fuck? Yeah. So that that comes and goes, <laughs> right? That's it. That's all. It's like a quick vision of that. How long was it? Um. Well, I I, I was interacting with this like orb, <sighs> and somebody was there to witness this too. This time, I actually had somebody there with me, um, to witness the whole thing. Witness as far as like seeing the actual orb, yeah, or witnessing the orb. you having like. Because they don't know you're telepathically. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay. No. Yeah, no, no, no. But they were actually, my friend was the one who suggested, that was the first night that I, I met this person. I found, somebody introduced me to him because they were like, hey, I know somebody who's seen UFOs too. I was like, give me his number. I need right. to talk to somebody about oh, this yeah. because I feel like I'm going crazy and nobody knows what I'm talking about. And then I met up with him, met, met him for coffee. And then I was like, do you want to go see if like we can call in some UFOs? And, and they were like, sure. And that we went to the astronomy park, and that's literally what happened. That golden orb appeared. Tell us about your wildest did, first date. Well, oh, <laughs> did that person see it too, or no? Just yeah, you. no, okay. yeah. They saw not the orb. The no, not the vision. They didn't receive the vision, but they were the one, and they were more experienced in like meditation and things. Mm -hmm. So they were like, close your. They suggested that I close my eyes and see if I can get any information that way. And I thought that sounded kind of like weird, but I did it, and then that's whenever I started receiving like these very vivid uh, images, almost like a movie, a very vivid movie. Whoa. It's not just a normal thought whenever you receive this yeah. telepathic. It's it's like a whole thing. And are you, like what's your heart rate doing? Like are you panicking? Uh -huh. Are you... I'm stoked. Like, you're what? Sorry. I'm stoked, yeah. Oh, I thought you said you were stoned. <laughs> like, well, that explains it. Like, whoa. <laughs> so, the whole time this has just been a big yeah, mushroom the trip. dudes behind the chick laying down, man. <laughs> so that's all you see? Um, I saw that and then I saw an image of like light going into the top of a head and I thought I was a little confused about that at first but then I realized that that's kind of how we receive the information through con so consciousness reality is essentially like a giant computer okay here we go yeah <laughs> so I love this shit Simulation I love this theory. shit yeah, so that's the best way to describe it. It literally works like a computer, and we're like codes. Like, for, for my being, for my person, for my body, there's there's a code, a, a genetic code. There's a code for it. And then information can be sent to you kind of like a zip file, like a zip file oh, on a yeah. computer. And then it's downloaded, literally downloaded. We don't see this because we're not seeing the light 
you know right but this is what's happening so that that's what they were showing me that's how i re was receiving the telepathic contact was literally this light being downloaded into me this light mm -hmm. and information so then it came with like a whole zip file of like kind of like an understanding um it was much more than just like a vision or picture it was more of an understanding like i, I it came with the understanding that um you know, this woman was probably, this extraterrestrial was probably using her consciousness to control the craft and, you know, things like that, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it makes perfect so sense. So where are you at on simulation theory then? Um, yeah. <laughs> so I think that's probably accurate. Yeah. Um, but also, also, so the we live in a holographic universe and the CIA actually has documents on this. Um, so I think it's like kind of a simulation, but then there's like, there's other dimensions that are layered on top of each other. Like if you've heard of like the matrix, right? So we're living in like a 3d matrix, but then there's other dimensions and other realities. They're all layered on top of each other. And that's where a lot of these beings come from higher dimensional realities we that just there, seem weird. We go there eventually, I guess we ascend to these planes if possible. It, exactly. Or? Really? So, so that's, yeah, that's essentially what's happening right now. So through the contact with the ETs, essentially they began teaching me that we're going through like a big shift Who is in they? consciousness. Um, the, the extraterrestrials, the Pleiadians, the, the light blue beings. They're, okay. All right. Yeah. I found out they're from the duh, Lyra. Duh. Well, you, yeah. Well, you know, Pay keep going. Keep Sorry. Keep my bad. <laughs> yeah. The different, the different friend. ETs. Um, so they started uh, teaching me that, yeah, so we're going through like a shift in consciousness right now. So that's why things are like batshit crazy right now, essentially. Yeah. You know, with, with COVID and all of that. But people are starting to kind of like wake up to become more interested in these things. More disclosure is happening. The government's slowly like rolling out disclosure on UFOs and all that. But yeah, essentially we're, as that happens... As we awaken and, and as our consciousness opens up, we'll be shifting into a higher density from 3D up to 5D. When's this going to happen? I want to make sure I'm around when it does happen. I think our lifetimes. Yeah. A majority, a majority of it. Does that mean it, we die? Um, no, reality just becomes different. Do we remember this one? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, it's... It, reality becomes reality is more malleable than we think it is right it's it's like you know like you can change it like that goes into kind of like it's like lo law of attraction manifestation yeah, things, gotcha, gotcha, okay. things like that yeah I didn't know either. so can you explain that a little further the 3d to 5d shift yeah um it's tough draw. We're, we're picture <laughs> team. Yeah, we're, right. Can't even order at a restaurant. Let's see the fucking menu with food on a plate. Uh, it's or so pictures. it's it's as we become more aware, um, and yeah, the so, so we're all we're all at the finest level. We are actually frequency. We are waves, and you can look this up. Like science already knows this. It's really crazy because we think that we're like vibrations and shit. Exactly. Yeah. We think that we're like physical, but really we're vibrations and frequency and these waves at the finest level. Right. Seeing a few vibrate. vibrate. Yeah. Yeah. So going up into this this higher dimension, our frequency is going to be changing and going to be raising. Right. So at the finest level that's gonna be happening. And as that happens, our awareness will be expanding and uh we will be kind of like opening up to more of these truths and learning how reality really works we'll we'll, we'll be evolving essentially okay does that make sense it's nothing to be scared of no 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 it's a good thing it's exciting no yeah it's a good thing we've got nowhere to go but up especially what do you think happens when people pass away then are they a part of this journey still or are they do they come yeah, I think it's all connected. So they're still... I don't know. I'm just... He yeah, wants no, to know a... if he's ever going to see Betty White again. It's really... The only it's, one. Really <laughs> tear, it's really tearing yeah. at him. Only yeah. one on my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the people that, you know, they, they go back to Source. Whenever people pass away, they and, and Source is just like, it's, it's all one. We are all one. We're all connected. That was one of the other things that the ETs 
started telepathically communicating with me. So like spirituality is, it's all connected. Science and spirituality, this whole thing, the ETs, like we're, we all come from one source. Right. One spiritual source. And uh, whenever people pass, they go back to that source and then whatever they want, you know, whatever they want to do after that, they can be born again as somebody else or, you know, whatever. So they're not like gone forever. In, in, in your opinion, why are the UFO, UFOs, we'll call them aliens, all right? Mm -hmm. Why are the aliens, A, coming down here, but B, why are they make, Why are they being selective on who they allow, I guess, to see them yeah. and who they hide from? Like, mm -hmm. what makes you, why, why are they here to begin with? And why are you more, we'll say, special than I am? Mm -hmm. You know, why haven't I seen them and you have? So uh, I think I just kind of had like the perfect cocktail for me being able to have these experiences. I was open-minded. I'm a truth seeker. And you are also, if you have a pure intention, they can feel that. Like if you just want to go out and just, you know, see a UFO just to see a UFO and you're, and you're not serious about it and you're kind of like mocking it or or your intention isn't pure, they will know that and they won't mess with you. Right. <laughs> so you really have to be like, kind of like a, if you really want to know, like seek higher learning and have an experience, you can. You just have to have an open mind and a if pure intention. you. In that will help. Right. That will definitely help. I would help. totally be down to cornfield aliens and shit. <laughs> They're fucking hiding from you. No, um, no but, I mean, you can even try it out. Ask. You know, ask. It's it's crazy. Um, ask. Just look up at the sky one night and say, you know, if you're there, could you show me some sort of a sign? And see my, what happens. my theory, and it's not my theory, but it is a theory. Like, you guys have both seen the movie Prometheus, right? Yeah. Okay. That's kind of so, scared me. <laughs> well, so, yeah, especially when it comes down, it's like fucking eight foot. Seen, it's eight it. foot tall and just shredded. Yeah, these things are. What's that movie? Uh, it. It's like the prequel to Alien, I think. I it's a good movie, yeah. but the, it's, yeah, it's kind of freaky. Aliens are fucking yoked, dude. Like, I'm telling you, if they. And they created game, humanity. Yeah. But. But that's always been my thing. What mm -hmm. if we're here as some, what if we're the gerbils, right? What if yeah. we're the, you know, the mice and the, you know, or the hamsters in the hamster wheel or whatnot, and they're yeah. just basically coming down to observe or we're some sort of an experiment or something like that. Um, not saying that that's what I believe, but again, mm -hmm. it's not that far out of the right. realm of reality that that could happen. And they're coming down just to check up on shit, you know? Yeah. And also mm -hmm. at the same time, you hear a lot of these, because uh, I've done a lot of research on this, and a lot of the sightings always happens around like nuclear reactors mm -hmm. and things that maybe we shouldn't have on the planet. Right. And there have been some cases where it's been reported that like a nuclear reactor completely gets shut down, just yep. loses electricity as you see these things. So mm -hmm. are they here as kind of like the guardians a little bit, you know, to make sure we don't fuck it. Like they put us down here, but they need to check in on the kids to make sure we don't burn the house down kind of thing. Or Yeah. That's a big part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's, and, and I think that makes sense. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah. Yeah. They're very, very advanced. Um, and they're very like close to us. So have you heard of the missing link? Yes. Where suddenly we made a huge jump in evolution and our DNA changed and we became a whole different species. Yeah. So they are the missing link. <laughs> when, so when, when did that Do happen? Do <laughs> Yeah. When, the missing link. What, what is that? A little more on that. So the, so the missing link is essentially where like scientists have been stumped about it uh, in the evolution from like primates to homo sapiens to like the, the beings that we are now. There's like a big gap where the where the DNA just changed drastically. Yeah. We evolved drastically and they don't know how that happened. So there's just like literally a link missing. And that's they so these these beings, why a lot of them look like us <laughs> this is probably blowing your guys' and minds. Yeah, it <laughs> no, it's interesting. Yeah, I'm like being I quiet over it. Yeah. It absorbing. So a lot of them look like us because they actually contributed their DNA to us oh, fuck. to make us um so it's not like it necessarily like an experiment or a weird thing it's just kind of like a creation thing and 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 we don't have just like one et genetic we have multiple et genetics they were kind of creating um just 
a, a human with a lot of potential. We have a lot of potential. We're very powerful. We're just young and naive, and there's a lot of corruption and fighting that we need to get over. So that's why they also started showing up because we started using nukes. Right. And that right. also messes with other dimensions besides art, not just art. So that affects other life forms too. Do you think that certain powerful political figures are some way one of these things you know what i mean mm -hmm. <laughs> like without getting whacked by the cia but you know what i mean like nancy pelosi like, yes, oh, fuck, for be. sure that fuck. and i'm not trying to get too political but just look at just her you know, like <laughs> yeah just well, look at yeah, mark zuckerberg that guy's eyes blink yeah vertically. there is something going on with that guy andrea has <laughs> always said that, that he looks I, like I, an alien i feel like maybe they, they those and they always say lizard people and shit but maybe they're like placed here in certain parts to control in a way yeah well yeah so there's there's po there's positive ets and there's negative ets yeah. so there there is just like humans there are um good and bad yeah exactly See, i've never heard that concept i've never heard of a bad the bad alien theory mm -hmm. I, i've well never the reptilians once... <laughs> okay reptilians that's what they're called uh, i wouldn't say it sounds like a rap group a majority a majority of them are positive and i've had very 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 loving experiences very positive um experiences these beings are very peaceful very very advanced um but there are some that uh that i think have made some deals with some of our negative uh government honestly and then they just kind of shape them into looking like us and put them in powerful positions that that could that could be it <laughs> Saying Vladimir I'm really Putin. Fucking you saying out Vladimir there. Putin's a reptilian? Yeah, we're getting deep. <laughs> I'm not Get away from this I'm not guy. naming any names. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, definitely in like the the CIA and stuff. Like, there's there's a lot. They of know that. everything about this shit. Yeah. What, yeah they, what what is what is the benefit in your opinion? Again, mine is because I think there would be it, we're such a religious world for the mm -hmm. most part, right? That having something like that come out flips all of it on its head and now you're going to have people questioning everything yeah what do you think the reasoning of the fbi the CIA, all these you know acronym you know b b b alphabet agencies why are they not lgbtq them too mm -hmm. why are they holding on to this why is it not made public why um, what are what are they hiding us from or what are they because they don't want us to know who we truly are okay all right and who how we truly are yeah who we truly are in in our place and in, in the cosmos and do you think that goes back to creationism like we've been telling these people the entire time this is how it was there was an adam and eve and a rib and blah 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 and all of a sudden you got reptiles like what like what what is the reasoning or what is the benefit of us not knowing what why uh, am i going to lose my mind if i find out that there are parallel universes and things like that yeah i think it, a lot of it is control I think that if you completely prove the Bible or the most of the Bible wrong mm -hmm. and most of the Quran wrong, mm -hmm. people are going to fucking lose everything. And that that's too. what I think it is. That's madness. That's, yeah. If you can prove that most of it is untrue, it's going to be hell on earth. Right. Complete madness. I think a lot of, um, I haven't read the Bible or anything, but you know, kind of like bits and pieces that I've seen. I think a lot of it actually does have some truth to it. It's just not exactly how it went yeah. down yeah so, so hmm. fuck it. who started all this shit like where's that come from I who's the creator of all this madness That's you know question. so you it's you, infinite so it goes on forever so it. it's, like, <laughs> so, it's like our brains aren't capable of understanding so yeah. here's here's my thing with what you said and i wish we had more time to talk more about this but you said when you had these telepathic visions okay mm -hmm. that you saw somebody that looked Pretty much similar to us, right? Yeah. Except no hair and they were blue. Yep. But for the most part, they look like this. Right. I've never read the Bible, but if I'm not mistaken, there is a line in there where it says something along the lines of man was created in the image of God, right? Yeah. Okay. So what if, yeah. again, yeah. what if that is God or there's a level above that? Maybe you're going into another dimension. Maybe there are, let's say it's, yeah. it's four parallel dimensions. And we're in the basement and, mm -hmm. you know, the aliens, UFOs, whatever you want to call them, they're above us and there's mm -hmm. something above us. And then 
and I think, you know, people hear that and they're like, oh, you're just being outlandish. And it's like, look at the size of the fucking universe, you know, mm -hmm. like what the possibilities are. And with us just being so kind of controlled and already narrow minded, right. I think as generations get older and you get more of them, people do become more cynical and they start looking at things that maybe before was a statement where you're like, you're fucking nuts. Now you've got more people going, why would you rule that out? Yeah. You know, knowing what we know. Right. So mm -hmm. it, it's, I don't know, the whole thing is like really fascinating, yeah. but you know, to go yeah. to your point. No, yeah, you bring up a really, really good point. And uh, yeah, you're right. So Did you hear that? I uh, mean, you're, you're right. <laughs> We're going to replay that twice. Hi mom. <laughs> Love you. Hey. You're right. You're right. So um, I think that the, the Bible, and there's a lot of information out there on this. Um, it, yeah, it says made in the humanity was made in the image of God. I think they kind of worded things differently or misunderstood calling some of these ETs like God. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's where we're at. But in, in these beings have been involved in Earth for a very long time, like the ancient Egyptian pyramids. Uh, yeah, which the, all have like drawings or, or whatever you want to call it, chiseled mm -hmm. out images of like spacecraft. It's always yeah, looking guy thing. In the fucking with this, doing this. You got to have a cool move, man. Yeah, yeah. with the fucking yeah. napkin. One hundred percent. Yeah, but, but yeah, you're so like Graham Hancock. You, I'm yeah. sure you've watched all his stuff, and I yeah. forget the Graham name. Graham like, what? Graham Hancock. Uh, Netflix. He has like a eight. Ancient part, Apocalypse. Yeah. Uh, to pet, what is it called? To pet, I'll fuck it up or whatnot. Go Beckley Tepe. That Say right that there. Go Beckley Tepe. <laughs> but it's one of those things where like you see pyramids and you, you think to yourself, okay, no way somebody could do it. But mm -hmm. when you talk about, when you really dig into it, where the rock came from, like the closest place that you could find this rock yeah. was 500 miles away. And they, and you had to go overseas and shit like, and you start doing the schematics of it. Yeah. And it's like, there's absolutely no way humans could actually do this and when you watch his special and you see all that shit you're like and they go into how impossible it would be mm -hmm. for civilizations to do that mm -hmm. and then again with the whole egypt thing you look at all these drawings you hear the stories something came from the sky there's mm -hmm. always a picture of some sort of a craft they're looking up at the mm -hmm. sun it, it just makes you start wondering if maybe these religions and these bibles do tie in with extraterrestrial because I think we can all agree there's been resets in the world. We've had yeah, yeah. flourishing population, something happens, and then we have to fucking start over from square one. Yeah. Well, a lot of the stuff kind of remains, and it's like, how do we tell these stories? How do we pass this on? Mm -hmm. You know, that there are things that come and visit us from another mm -hmm. planet, and maybe that's where we're from. All right, we'll call it God, you know, and we'll mm -hmm. start kind of yeah. loosely writing a book or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there have been, yeah, resets for sure. We used to be more advanced, just like what Graham Hancock suggests to um, Atlantis right. and all of that right. is real also. And they're finding evidence of that. So that's a whole other aspect to it as well. So we went backwards for a yeah. while. Oh, 100%. That fascinates me. I just watched Aquaman. The, the, I haven't seen it yet. The second one where they're like fucking civilization is underwater. That's pretty cool. How's uh, Momoa look? He's, he's such a he's babe. Beefy. <laughs> he's beefy, isn't he? Such a babe. <laughs> but so, all right, because we're, we're getting close on time and shit. But, well, I mean, I, technically we can talk for as long as we want, but I got to get to Potosi here soon. But um, Said no one. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> but... Sorry, the I deepest, keep shedding on Potosi. Like, I love Potosi. What is the deepest... <laughs> fucking idea we're here to talk. You just do it just to talk, just to talk shit. The <laughs> deepest, like, uh, like, the craziest, most deepest communication you've had with these aliens or beings or mm -hmm. whatever you call them. Man, I mean, my mind blown is... My mind is blown consistently. Yeah. Because, like, this is what I do now. Yeah. Um... I've had some cool, ex some very profound, like spiritual experiences uh, with these beings. Um, I've had, ugh, I've had, okay, the, just one of them that, that comes to mind. Uh, I've had them do like energy work on me and I've actually like felt. Energy work. <laughs> yeah, like healing work on me. Yeah. Like, like they actually, it, this is going to sound super weird, but this, this is my life. So whatever. Um, so I started doing meditation and they instructed me to like meditate and, and I 
see a lot of things and have a lot of like revelations the beings through that. instructed you to meditate yeah. through telepathy telepathy yep yeah exactly are you That's witnessing cool. them and you're having a conversation and then they say hey you want to do this or are you just living life doing whatever and then all of a sudden you now have this telepathic kind of like vision or instructions or mm-hmm. whatnot like how does it come to you does it it could be both the like the specific day i was talking about i think i was like working or something and then i just kind of got like a it's like a ding a message like hey you know go you know go lay down um you know meditate and you know we we have something for you that's and, wild <laughs> like you got mail yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold on i'm getting paged yeah so then you just go and what happens when you go lay down and meditate just uh, a number of things like it yeah. could be a vision or yeah sometimes they'll show me things um what's the coolest shit they've shown you okay one of the for, for whenever they were kind of giving me some like history a little bit of like history so so i'd go and meditate and then they'd show me these things um i saw flying saucers around whenever the dinosaurs were here oh so they showed you that yeah so i so like ETs have been involved in Earth for a very, very long time. Uh, one of the other things they showed me was Atlantis. So that was cool to get like a confirmation. I didn't know if it existed at that Whoa. point. You saw it? Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. It's like a very advanced, was a very advanced city. It's, it was us. Was it underwater? No shit. This is Not before it was underwater, but now it's underwater. Yeah. Wow. But apparently Atlantis was actually like much bigger. Like there, there were, there were probably multiple cities. Right. That Atlantis made up. So they showed me that. What else have they shown me? What do you think the reasoning is for them showing you what they're showing? Yeah, why are they just? Why Why do you think they're? They want showing you to pass you it this? along. Yeah, I think so. I think that's that's what it is. They want um, me. They're, they're helping me to kind of like remember our history, um, remember our connection yeah. with you know with the universe. Because I've always been a, a truth seeker. I mean, I wasn't. I definitely didn't. I wasn't like a UFO person or anything, but I had always been curious. You know, I would watch. Sometimes I'd watch Ancient Aliens, yeah, right. <laughs> like back in the day. <laughs> Just watched it for old boy's hair. Yeah. See that that's a thing that like and again I, it all comes back to me. Um, but like I've <laughs> always been very interested and wanted to see and been open-minded and like i can handle this shit you yeah. know like i'm not going to lose my mind i'm not going to be the guy i'm not going to be uh old boy in uh independence day or, or whatnot like not saying i deserve to see this i deserve to be part but like it's mm-hmm. something i 100 yeah. percent would be like bring it on yeah, yeah. and you just kind of get hit out of the blue one night yeah. Right, right place, right time. But it is and also something that you can learn to do. And that's actually part of what I do now. I teach people how to have that connection. Well, we're going to talk more about that off okay. the podcast because I think that's awesome. Yeah. What about ghosts? I don't, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll chill with the ETs, but I don't mess with ghosts, man. Do, do you believe <laughs> You believe in them? <laughs> no, yeah, the, yeah, definitely. You do, okay. See, yeah. I don't. I'm a staunch believer in aliens, UFO. Do not believe in ghosts. Well, no. you know, I, nah, I, I wasn't for sure, but um, after like I started having these these UFO encounters, and it kind of like opens you up to other things. Um, I mean, I was visited not as a ghost, but but I like I felt my dad's spirit um, and my my grandmother's spirit, so I started having, and I'd never had experiences like that before. I mean, I would see signs, you know, like little heart in the clouds and things, you know, kind of like right. special moments that you know felt like they were with me, but. Um, yeah, I realize more of a communication, but yeah, the, the ghosts, I think they're in another dimension. They're in the fourth dimension, I think. And we go to third to the fifth. Yeah. We're going up to the fifth, but then there's like this whole fourth dimension that's around us that we can't like see, but it can like interact with us. It doesn't sound like a good place to be. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we're, so you're saying we're in the third, right? Yeah. Okay. We're in the third, uh, but wow. we're, we're working our way up. Why the fuck are they in the fourth? I don't really know. How do you get there and not just, how do we skip to the fifth? I don't really know. Yeah. I don't know the the whole science of it. (laughs) And so I'm clear. I do believe that something, you can call it the soul or whatnot, but again, we're energy. I think when we die, the energy goes somewhere. Mm -hmm. But, and when I think of ghost, I mean, we're, you know, Patrick Swayze picking up the fucking penny and floating it across the room to I don't believe in that yeah, shit. Exactly. I don't. Yeah. yeah. I that 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 I don't believe in. But I do think that there is something out there. I just mm-hmm. I'm not 
arrogant enough to say, hey, this is what it is. It's right. just kind of like I'm not even going to try to because if I sit about sit around and think about it all day, I'm never going to nail it. And if I do nail it, I'm never going to know that I nailed it. Mm. You know, so why yeah, even you drive yourself crazy? Yeah, trying to 100 percent. People do. I mean, mm. I say like I, I, it drives me crazy. Always thinking about this shit. Like, where's Nick? Where's yeah. my mom? Where what would happen? Where will I see? Look, that mm. shit drives me fucking crazy. Yeah. But it's like, fuck, you can just drive yourself crazy trying to figure it out, or you can just... Well, just know in your heart that they they are there. Yeah. I I've, 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 I've uh, felt Nick and Gina yeah. also. Yeah. They loved you. <laughs> they did. I loved they, them, too. Yeah. She she knew my mom really well, too. Oh, hey, Tim. So did I. Yeah, Tim. Tim. <laughs> I got some of her stuff in my garage. You do, don't Yeah. You? Yeah. Thanks. Shout out. Hey, hey, from... my mom kind of liked you as well, yeah. Tim. I'm over here <laughs> feeling yeah. fucking all neglected and shit. Tim show. No, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. But, um, yeah, I, I do find that, like you said, with the dinosaur thing and mm-hmm. with the resets, you know, at some point we'll reach, if we had no breaks, we had no population resets, if we had started at the same time that they did, you look where we're at technology wise it's really naive to think that we wouldn't have the ability to go to different planets and mm-hmm. solar systems and things like that but when you have to constantly start back over from square one right. you know drags the timeline out and the thing with like aliens ufos and all that is my theory is maybe they've never had the resets you know mm-hmm. so maybe we have been around for close to the same and the universe is how many like what billions of years old right yeah. So it's a very long time from somebody to evolve. So Mm -hmm. if you've been around for 500 million years and you've been able to advance technology, we too would be doing the same exact thing. So that's why when I hear, you know, some people hear, now there weren't aliens around during the dinosaurs. It's like, why the fuck not? Why would the dinosaurs were like yesterday when you (laughs) take the timeline of how long we've been around. Yeah. Yeah. Dinosaurs were here last Wednesday. They say that if you take the empire state building, like how big that is. Right. The humans time on earth is like in scale is the size of a postage stamp at the top of it. Wow. I see that. And the yeah. rest is yeah, like yeah. without hundred percent. Right. So it's like that kind of puts it in perspective. Yeah. Like it's fucking that. But the Bible yeah. says we've only been around, you know, see? and that's where it starts <laughs> to. Yeah. Yeah. Which who fucking knows? Yeah. Know. Just be a good person and wear deodorant. That's always <laughs> what I. You know, remember that time you had to buy me deodorant? Mm-hmm. We, we had a closing. It was that Ed guy. Ed. It was cold out, and I was like, dude, I reek. And you're like, you sent a picture. You go, I got you. You got me like some. <laughs> you're welcome. Fa- thank See? you. Thank you, buddy. A good guy. Yep. Yeah. Damn good guy. How do, we, sure how, do people, how do people follow what you're, what you're doing? Um, so I do all of kind of like talk about this stuff under a different name, Lily Nova. Is that L L or L I L L Y or L I L Y L I L Y. Yeah. Nova. Yeah. And then I do YouTube. My Instagram was taken down. That's nice of them. Yeah. That's cause they know what they, why she's catching on. She's catching on. Do they not give you a reason? You just go to log in one day and you're not there or. Yeah. It was, it was just deleted. Uh, the reason was I was impersonating somebody was the official reason. Who were you impersonating? Was it Lily Nova? Yeah, I guess. Oh, (laughs) so I think that's that's technically how they they got me. But I had a bunch of weird stuff that started happening. I had a bunch of accounts that started popping up. I had a decent amount of followers on that. Um, But a bunch of like fake accounts of me were popping up. It was weird. So TikTok, Lily Nova. Yeah, Lily Nova in space. I don't post on there as much, but I have a lot of stuff on there. And then YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, uh, Lily Nova, Star Seed on YouTube. Now the YouTube it gets like really deep so, and I really like woo woo. So that's what I want to watch. We'll yeah. have to watch it and have you back on. Yeah, and check that. I mean, out. really, no, would I you like... come back on like a yeah. little while, like maybe a month or so? Yeah, that's come fine. Come back so we can kind of. I'm gonna dive into. It. I'm gonna, I know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna fucking leave here, and I'm gonna have all these questions I wish I would have asked. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. do. And then the, the listeners and viewers are going to do the same thing, and then we'll just reconvene. And yeah. then we get yelled at. Why didn't you ask her this? Yeah. Like, hey. Yeah, they're thinking it right Jesus, now. Yelling at sorry. the sorry. Fuck- remember that chick said she uh, she was yelling at the fucking radio, or yelling at her car, because she couldn't, we couldn't figure out the guy's name was John Cusack. And I did figure out <laughs> within three seconds that it was John and Cusack. She said she was losing She's for like, a minute. What the she, fuck? You know, like, God damn, man. So, my bad. So I'm not happy with you. Didn't have enough coffee. And we're talking that about day. a movie you never even saw, too. 100%. So props so. to you, pal. I would like to give you guys some homework if you are 
interested in this um, and interested in contact, there is a, a documentary by somebody named Dr. Stephen Greer that goes into I all of this more. G-R-I-E-R. Yeah, G-R-E-E-R. Okay. I think it's called Close Encounters or something like that. I think Netflix? it's on Amazon. I okay. think it's on Amazon. You can rent it. But it's it's good if anybody's interested in learning more about... Because there's so many other people that are having contact, not just me. And anybody can do it, really. So, Do, do you see, like, because you're part of the community, right? Mm-hmm. Do you see, like, uh, posers out there or people that you can hear what they're saying or you look at their footage or whatnot and you go, that person's completely oh, full of shit. Sure. You're just trying to get clicks. Yeah. Or do you go into everything kind of like giving them the benefit of the doubt more with an open mind because I can see mm-hmm. being cynical towards other people like look I got a being like idiot that's Orion's belt like me mm-hmm. you know when I saw Orion's belt I, I'm not Don't making this shit up something. I thought I was special I was like <laughs> finally these <laughs> but dude. maybe you had a moment and you didn't even realize it yep you know what I mean yeah, yeah. Don't well so hard on yourself yeah well but in any event do you ever see other people and mm-hmm. talk with other people and go you're completely full of shit no or- i try not to judge people because i think um if people get ex- you know sometimes people do see things and they'll record things and then they'll show me and i'm like that probably wasn't That's you know what you what you thought it was right. yeah. <laughs> but i don't judge them for it and maybe they did have an experience you know so there were times i had some weird stuff happen to me whenever this was happening like i would have stars it felt like a like something was communicating with me this is like before the tele telepathy began in like the star that i was looking at suddenly started like blinking and like morse code just like weird shit like that yeah. weird stuff happens whenever you start like yeah. getting into this so i try and i don't judge people because whenever you looked up at orion's belt maybe even though those weren't like ufos you may have had an experience and you just didn't even realize it yeah like you felt a connection there. You you felt yeah. something. Well, and I had eaten a mushroom pizza. Pulled, oh, definitely. Pulled the pizza. That'll do um, it. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, okay, finally. But um, <laughs> yeah. And at any point, I know we're like press on time. At any point, did have you ever felt like threatened or scared or like intimidated, tense or anything like that? Or it seems like you're just very like, hey, look, it's going to happen. I'm going to let it happen. And, mm-hmm. you know, you're kind of loose with it. Yeah, no. In the beginning, I, it, I was definitely cautious, and it kind of freaked me out a little bit. But then I realized they were like, you know, it was friendly, and so, right. so yeah, no, I don't have any any Shit. worries. It's been very, very positive, and very. Um, it's actually been been very transformative. Really? Yeah, very transformative. Like they kind of. This probably sounds weird, but they kind of help guide me on just how to be a better person too. Well, that's perfect. We could dude. certainly. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've got reptilians advising us what to do. Yeah, Fuck that red light. Run They're really good bitch. at helping heal too. Like they they helped me heal with a lot. Just those experiences and kind of opening up to my spirituality and doing meditation and things like that. Because you weren't time doing in... any of that prior to this, right? Huh? Okay. No. That's incredible. No. So yeah, it's been very it's been very positive. Very positive experience. Mind-blowing. I mean, this is the most exciting thing to ever happen, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty... Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Like, this is a big deal. Clearly, <laughs> you've never been to Italy. Like, it yeah, that's... everything else seem uneventful. It does, you know? Like, you un, know? Un, the fuck is the word? Un... Uh, yeah, anyway. Eventful. I know what you mean, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. It's not as... It's like, how do I go back to doing a normal job? I can't do a nine-to-five after this, after yeah, finding out right. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes everything seem smaller and less important. Yeah. And I, again, it's just one of those things where it's like, why can't I get, like, I'm cool with it. We're going to try. You like, can. I want to go with me to that fucking galaxy park. I'll go shot. to the galaxy park shot. with you. Yes. Or if you come down to, you're not going to fuck. We always do this. You always do this. You're not coming down. You're not coming down. Yeah, because I've never invited you somewhere you said you were going to go. And then you're there. like, oh, yeah, I forgot. It's Christmas. I think you, you invited me <laughs> I've invited you to a lot of places, and then you call me the day of, and you're like, yeah, I forgot. That's I'm such, that's complete. Getting the house remodeled oh, today or something, here. but no. So where is this Galaxy Park at again? It's not that far from um, here, right? Car- it's called Bromelstick. Bromelstick. Shout out to Bromelstick. Bromelstick. And you, hey, <laughs> real quick. So one thing, you showed us some alien craft. They probably got some shit in there that they need to eat. I wonder if they have cabinets, and if they do have cabinets, That's what they I should buy to. them from. Uh, I wanted to. I wanted to obviously give a huge shout out to our sponsor, as, as always, John Morgan and the Premium Cabinets St. Louis family. Um, 
if you're looking to get any work done, you know, um, any type of cabinet remodeling, any type of kitchen remodeling, they really are like, they make this podcast possible. Like they, they really do. And they don't ask for anything. They don't even ask for me to say this, but premium cabinets, St. Louis, holler at them, please support them. They are fantastic. And they make this whole thing able to happen. Miranda's uh, looking at me while I'm going into this. She's like, what the fuck is like, he talking, talking about? Cat? Kitchens on a goddamn alien ship? Where are we going? But you can reach them. Uh, 314-499-8800. That's Premium Cabinets St. Louis. And again, thank you to them and John Morgan for thank uh, you, Johnny. Taking, care of, taking care of us. But Miranda, thank you for being here, dude. Like, Thank you so this much. This was Good awesome. And we need to do a part two, three, and four. We're going to yeah. do our homework. I really, Yeah. So <laughs> seriously, we're going to, let's plan for like a month from now. Is okay. that cool? Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How far away do you live from here? Uh, 23 minutes. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not bad at all. All right. Yeah, hopefully everybody learned something, and hopefully we have yeah. some open minds out there. Yeah. No, we're <laughs> going to read the comments. Uh, and again, if you're listening here on Spotify or Apple, you can go to at Beer Fam Podcast on YouTube and watch and see some of the cool shit that she brought up on the And screen. Miranda, what's your YouTube channel in case people want to follow you? What is that? Lily Nova Starseed. Starseed. Um, Lily yeah. Nova Starseed. It's L-I-L-Y. Yep. All yep, right. yep, yep. All right, well, thank you, Miranda. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Hey. All right, love you, bye. Huge thank you to our studio sponsor, John Morgan, and the entire Premium Cabinets family for helping make this podcast possible. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you're following the podcast on all platforms so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Don't forget to join the End is Near, so let's drink beer Facebook group to make sure you stay prepared for the end of days. Till next time, 